Okay, so we're going to do a single dumbbell row, but off of a bench. So, I'm going to show you two positions, but the first position is going to be from the side position. Now, it's the same principle as a double dumbbell row. If you haven't already watched that, I'm going to take you through the principle anyway. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get onto the bench. You put one hand here, you put one knee on the bench there, and you put the foot out to the side, but at a bit of an angle. Okay, you drop the arm here for the stretch in the lap. We row back with the elbow and retract the shoulder blade back and squeeze the back as best as possible. Okay, so the muscle group this is hitting is the outer lat, the big muscle group in your back, and a little bit of the wrong one which is in the middle and part of the lower lats as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you the dumbbell. Okay, elbow, retract, squeeze the back, all in reverse. So this is, I'm going to do it now wrong, okay? So if you were just to be pulling back, it's not hitting my back, I'm using my bicep, okay? I'm not really hitting my back much. So here, stretch, feel that on the back, okay, feel that stretch onto the back, retract, start to pull the shoulder blade back, and squeeze back, okay? So I'm going to move the camera over here. Okay, so hand on the bench here, knee on the bench here, foot out to the side. Okay, here, retract. There, retract. Okay, so that's a single dumbbell row for the entire lat region, back region, okay, apart from the lower back because you're not, it's not a compound move. There is another video on compound moves, so I'm not going to go too much into detail about that now. A compound move will involve more than one muscle group, so for say, I'll take you through it quickly actually. Okay, so if I was doing a, a double bent over row, that's going to incorporate my legs a little bit, my lower back, okay, and my traps, and also my core more. I'm taking them out of the equation and I'm isolating the lat by the bench, okay, so I'm just using that particular part of my back. Okay, so that's a single dumbbell bench row. Obviously, to do the other side, you just do everything what we just done in reverse. Okay, so the next one, bye.